The differences between mild, moderate, and severe concussions are not always apparent at the time of the concussion. Uh, it used to be thought that if you suffer a loss of consciousness with the concussion, that that's going to indicate a very severe concussion. Although, in fact, there are some people that will have a very brief loss of consciousness and a mild concussion, and others who never lose consciousness and can have a fairly severe concussion. In fact, in this day and age, we often define the severity of the concussion after the fact. So if the, you have a concussion, even with a loss of consciousness, and three to seven days later you're fine, we would have still defined that potentially as a mild concussion. Whereas if you had a concussion and six weeks later you're still symptomatic, that's really in the range of a severe concussion, even though it didn't necessarily seem as severe at the time. So a lot of the question of how severe a concussion is depends on how quickly did you recover from it.